15 years ago, we decided to open INRS to the world. The first uh, reason that we, uh, we put together people from energy, materials and telecommunications is that what you want to do is that to have the expertise in materials applied to the challenges we are facing the domain of energy and telecommunications. So my vision is that, is that to have the, the whole expertise in-house and the whole the infrastructure to attack the, the big challenges in energy and in telecommunication. We are located uh, in Varennes, which is on the south shore of Montreal, not too far uh, from uh, Montreal proper. And the mission is to train uh, graduate students, so it's a graduate level institution, and of course also postdoctoral fellows in areas of research uh, that are relevant uh, to Quebec, Canada, uh, and, and also to the international job market. These are all multidisciplinary degrees that are not found in more traditional universities where you would find uh, you know, typically degrees in physics or electrical engineering or biology. In the last decade or so, we set up advanced equipment uh, for uh, over $75 million and uh, some of our instruments are uh, unique in the world. Most of our instruments are unique, at least in Canada. We have essentially two major facilities that are already operational and a third one which is up and coming. The first one is a laboratory for micro nanofabrication. Ten years ago the push was on nanoparticles and then the push was adding another element and now the push is to these two different aspects be able to control the geometry of your surface. We are trying to add everything together to make the catalyst. Which is, which is going to be special for, say, fuel cell, batteries, supercapacitor. I am a materials scientist and materials chemist. So for the past several years, my group has been focusing on the development of various nanostructured materials for important applications, including solar cells, catalysis and biomedicine. We have been particularly interested in developing quantum dots based solar cells. Quantum dots, they can be synthesized and they can be tuned to absorb a lot of photons in the solar system. So by designing quantum dots based solar cells, we hope we are able to achieve solar cells with good efficiency with, uh, at a low cost which can be fabricated on large area and into different shapes. My research line actually is dealing with nonlinear optics. Nonlinear optics brings to many kinds of properties, but one of the most important properties is to generate new colors. Uh, why is it important to generate new colors? Because uh, if, we, uh, if we look at the telecommunication network that we have today, uh, we, we can carry many, many information, much information on many different colors. So this is a very important uh, target to achieve. And uh, to do that, we can use uh, this big laser that you can see in my back, but which of course is not very economical, but we are trying to look at alternative solutions. So we are trying to look uh, to new material in such a way that we can take this very big laser and put inside in a small chip that is compatible with electronic and it only costs maybe two, three dollars. And actually this very exotic material that we are using is glass, which is universally available. The graduate students we are adding here are really at the frontier between physics and chemistry. And it, this is because of the, the, the research we are doing. Modern research uh, is becoming increasingly international. We have uh, made the decision to go more and more global and to uh, build international bridges with uh, uh, academic institutions worldwide. People are coming from every place. And this is really something which creates synergy and collaboration with uh, different countries and so on. What is really special and, and perhaps unique is this uh, focus on multidisciplinary research since the early days, since in 1969. Uh, creating in those days a, a center for uh, research in energy was hugely visionary and all of INRS was built on this model uh, and, and that's what really distinguishes us.